Let's look at higher derivatives. Think of it. Given a function, given a function in terms of x, that is f of x, which is equal to y. Given a function in terms of x, that is f of x, which equals to y. The first derivative of the function is given by f prime of x, which is equal to dy over the x. The first derivative of the function is called f prime of x, which is equal to dy dx, comma. The second derivative of the function is given by f prime prime of x, which is equal to the square y all over the x squared. The third derivative of the function is given by f prime 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 x, which is equal to the cube y all over the x cube. Alright. So please note please. Aside the y the x, there's also the squared y over the x squared. There's also the cube y over the x cube. There's also e to the power 4y all over the x power 4. Now what this means is that I'm differentiating the equation twice. So it means, please, I'm differentiating twice. From here, if I differentiate once, I get the y dx. Differentiate twice, you get the squared y by the x squared. Differentiate thrice, you have this. And that is the concept. So with this one here, it tells you how many times they expect you to do your differentiation. And that's like the basic concept about it. Take that one. Example. Example. Example number one, if y equal to x to the power 5, comma, show that d to the power 6y all over the x power 6 is equal to 0. Let's start with this. If y equal to x to the power 5, show that you have this is equal to 0. Look at it. For this man, how many times am I differentiating here? Let's start. Alright, solution means y is equal to x to the power 5. Differentiate what? Open for this, I'm going to use what's it called? General method. So I'll have that dy over the x is equal to what you get here? 5x by what there? 4. I've differentiated once. Differentiate twice. You have that the square y all over the x to the power 2 is equal to, what do I get? 4 times 5, 20x to the power 3. Next up, the cube y all over the x cube is equal to this and this, 60x to the power squared. Next up, d to the power 4y all over the x to the power 4. What do you get there? 120x to the power 1. Have it? That's 120x. Next up again, d to the power 5y all over the x to the power 5. That gives you what there? 120. Finally, d to the power 6y all over the x to the power 6. Differentiate constant gives you what there? This is proof. So that's how you work on parametric, um, this kind of function. You just keep differentiating until or you have to stop. This is how you work on this. It gives you zero, but that's it. Example two. If y is equal to exponential 4x, find d to the power 4y all over the x to the power 4. 
if y is equal to exponential 4x, find g to the power 4y all over dx to the power 4. Starting the position today, proper like today, right? And listen, we said when it comes to listen, up, we said when it comes to differentiating exponential function, we said the idea is simple simply differentiate for that, the part, I mean, and bring the answer down. So we said, so for this now, I will have that dy over the x is equal to differentiate for x. What do you get there? So it becomes 4 attack this exponential 4x. This was our shortcut. Differentiate the part and then attach it. We've got in the y dx. Let's get the square y all over the x squared. This will be equal to, we said, differentiate the part. If I differentiate 4x, what do you get there? So it becomes 4 times what I have here, 4 exponential 4x. So I'll have that the squared y all over the x squared is equal to 4 times 4, 16 exponential 4x. I'm done with this. Get the third one, the cube y all over the x cube. The same idea follows here. We said simply differentiate the part here. If you change 4x, it gives you 4 multiplied by everything you have here, 16 exponential 4x. What this up? This gives you about what? 64 exponential 4x. I have this. Finally, d to the power 4y all over the x to the power 4 is equal to the same concept for exponential differentiating part. Differentiate 4x, it gives you 4 multiplying everything there. Yeah? 64 exponential 4x. So I have that d to the power 4y all over the x over 4 is equal to this time this 206 256 exponential so that's all that's all please. so this is how you do this please you just keep differentiating and differentiating until uh, you get to where you have to stop all right for these stops what will help you shortcut you can't use the log method to not work so cram the shortcut and know how it works. Example three, if y is equal to two x plus four to power seven, find d to power five y all over the x to power five. Find this. If y is this. This will be our last example. They will look at what's major. They will now look at what will happen today. This one is just brushing up to remind you of some concepts. Solution. We are given that y is equal to 2x plus 4 to the power 7. I'm about to find d to the power 5y all over the x power 5. That means I am differentiating how many times there? Eh? How many times? Five. Five times. So first of all, let me differentiate once, I'll get the y dx. To differentiate this please, which method y is here? Chain rule. What is chain rule shortcut? Write the power, that becomes 7. I mean, yes. differentiate the question. That gives you what that? 2. So, repeat the question. 2x plus 4, subtract 1, 6. So this now gives you what that? 14 into 2x plus 6 over what that? Power 6 plus 4 to power what there? Eh? So I'm cutting this. This is the y dx. Differentiate the second time, you have the square y all over the x squared. It's still on that chain rule. So I'm doing the same method. That's equal to write out the power 6 um, times, because this one here, 14. That's this into this. Differentiate the question here. Yeah? Uh, this one gives you what there? Eh? That gives you 2. Differentiate the question here, yeah? gives you 2, repeat the question, 2x plus 4, subtract 1, 5, so I have this.
All right. Multiply all of these. What do you have? This is what you get. 168 into 2x plus 4 to power what? Eh? 5. So I have this. Next up, get the cube y all over the x cube. Of course, follow the same pattern here. Write down the bar, this. Um, differentiate the question. Of course, this becomes this times what I have here. 168. Differentiate the question here. gives you 2. Repeat the question. 2x plus 4. Subtract 1. 4. I have this. Okay? Multiply this. What do you get there? 1680. This one gives you 10 times this. 8 to 2x plus 4 to power 4. That's number 3. You said 5 times. Next up, d to power 4y all over the x to power 4 is equal to same concept. Write out the power 4 multiplied by 1680. Differentiate the question, it gives you 2. Repeat the question, 2x plus 4, subtract 1 here, 3. So multiply this, what do you get there? Sorry? 1, 3, 4, 4, 0. Repeat this man here. 2x plus 4 to power 1 here. 3. I have done this in 4 times. They said 5 times. So one final time. d to power 5y all over the x to power 5 is equal to, write at the part there, 3 into what I have here. 1, 3, 4, 4, 0. Differentiate the question here. 2. Repeat the question, 2x plus 4, subtract 1, you have 2. Multiply this, what do you get? 8, 0, 6, 4, 0. This, 8, 2x plus 4, all squared. So this becomes your answer. If you need to work on this here, that becomes your answer. So this is how you solve this question. Thank you.